me and Vin Diesel was laughing on set yesterday because I said something that made him laugh so hard. You know what I said to him? I said, people don't even know that I am naturally not a good person. I am naturally not a bad, I'm, I'm sorry. I am naturally not a good person and I am naturally not a nice person. And it's like, well, what does that mean? It means I was born in South Central LA. Watts. Mer Pedo Police corruption, brutality, rape, discrimination, crap, sherm, every form of public aid, food stamps, social security checks, county checks, robberies, home invasions, carjackings, drive-by black and Latino, Mexican bloods, Crips, essay gangs, every level of evil, malicious, dark, and intentions. That's the environment that I grew up in. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I grew up in and around monsters. So every single day, I have been a work in progress. I am not naturally a nice person. I am not naturally a good person. I had to figure out a way to become something that my environment did not raise me as. Do you understand that? Can anybody relate to that? <laughs> See, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For all of the women that are uber sensitive about the way a man treats you, talks to you, tries to touch you or flirt with you, if you're like super cold and ain't giving nobody a shot in hell, you're not that way naturally. You're that way because of the things that you have experienced. I pray it away. Pray it away. Some of y'all have been single for 10, 8, 5, 20 years, celibate. And you're running around talking about I'm waiting on God to send me what he's supposed to send me. And that's a cool speech. And that may be your truth. But the truth is, well, my truth is, nobody wants to be alone. But nobody wants to get hurt. Because some people get hurt and they're actually not able to recover from it. I can tell y'all right now, I'm still in the middle of a divorce. I'm also in a relationship and every single day that I laugh and I spend time with this woman named Zelly Timothy, I'm sitting there looking at this woman and I'm like, I cannot believe I feel the way I feel about you because I'm still going through what I'm going through. I am in no position to like, let alone love anybody, but it still happened. She is also a woman that's been through a lot. She is in no position to trust, to love, to like or love anybody see everybody can paint that picture and look good and put a filter on it but the truth is we are all carrying something so I want you all to know rather I personally know you personally love you Personally, I've ever met you and connected with you. If I've ever said and did anything to piss you off, I'm sorry. Every single day, I am literally trying to be and become the best version of myself I can. Now, for all of these people that are working hard to be more evil, more fucked up, more malicious, plotting and planning and scheming to do something else evil and fucked up. 
you're going to have to deal with that. God knows. Rather you on your timeline or not. God knows everything. And just like you can't sleep at night. See. If you're creating nightmares for people and your life is a nightmare, those nightmares are going to follow you into your sleep. Rest only comes when you get rid of all things, people and situations that's causing you to be restless. See, if you are creating nightmares for people because you're a bad person, with evil, fucked up, and malicious intentions towards everybody. You're going to lose sleep at night, too. If everything about your friends, family, loved ones, who you're dating, who you're married to, the job and environment that you're working with is causing you a lot of stress, that is what you're experiencing while you're awake with your eyes. So what makes you think when you go to sleep at night, your mind is going to go to sleep and you'll be able to actually rest? You are restless. The goal in this life should be, it doesn't matter how much money you have or don't have, whatever your tax bracket is, whatever your job, whatever you're driving, your goal in life is to say, I have a choice to wake up every single day. I have a choice to wake up every day and walk and move in the direction of people that makes me feel good when I'm around them. You don't like your friends. So why are they still there? You don't trust your friends. So why are you still there? Yeah, I get it. That's my cousin. That's my mama. That's my auntie. That's my sister. That's my uncle. But they fucked up. They're dysfunctional. They're bad people. So why are you still interacting with them? See, loyalty has an expiration date. And because you disconnect or disassociate yourself with someone, you don't have to wait on something bad to happen before you cut them off. You can just say, I don't really like the way I feel when I'm around you. I don't like the way I feel when I talk to you. So you just got to make a choice to say, mm, I'm cool. And back out. You don't have to wait, wait on a breakup to break up. You don't have to wait on a fight or an argument from a childhood friend who some way, somehow it seems like, man, We've been rolling for 5, 10, 20 years, but it's something about something about where I'm at in my life in this season of my life that ain't connecting to you anymore. So you don't have to wait on a fight, an argument, a big blow up. Just make the decision. We are the authors and the makers of our reality. Only those who can see the invisible can do the impossible. But some of y'all are carrying so much stuff, so much baggage, so much trauma, triggers, and all of this shit, just like me, that if love were staring you right in the face, you wouldn't even see it because you still using them old eyes and carrying all that shit you ain't the first person to go through a divorce, homie. You ain't the first one that's got a man or a woman trying to take your kids away from you in court, taking all your money and going through all this shit. You ain't the first and you ain't the last. But I still believe in love. I still want to get married again. I still want to have more children. I still believe in the sanctuary of marriage. I still have hope. And I hope and pray to God I never lose it. 
truth be told, all this shit is high class problems. I've already actually survived the belly of the beast. I don't like these problems. I don't like this stuff. But this ain't shit compared to what I grew up in. It's all about perspective. You should not be crying in a mansion in a Rolls Royce, Tyrese. But my feelings are not for sale. You can't purchase me out of what I'm carrying and what I'm feeling. I'm actually human. And fortunately for me, I've been making money so long, another check ain't going to change the way I feel about anything that I'm feeling. You may have been broke all your life. Somebody in your family may pass away last week. And if $100,000 show up, you'd be like, man, my cousin just died last week. But I just got $100,000. i am good. A million dollars can show up for me, bro. I've been a millionaire for over 20 years. Money up, money down. But I've always had money. Money ain't going to stop me from feeling anything that I'm feeling. That's my perspective. What's yours? I'm going to jump in the comments. Pray for somebody. Somebody push your pride and ego to the side and share and talk about what you're feeling, what you're carrying and what you're dealing with. We could actually change the world with 15 million followers. Here's my last request. This is all I'm asking. This is my last request. Can you please tag five people with this video? I'm about to put it up on my Instagram right now. Can you tag five people? Rather you think they good, not good. Can you tag five people? Can you cut and paste the link and send this on that text chain? That's got like 40, 50 people, all of your coworkers and college friends and high school homies. Can you please send this video to everybody that you can? Put it on your Facebook, put it on your Instagram, repost it in your Instagram and let people watch the whole thing. Can we just decide to whoop the devil's ass who wants to keep everybody confused, miserable, Pressed and sad and wanting to quit and give up. Can we all just piss the devil off by just extending this to somebody? Because you just never know who's going through something. Whether they actually called and told you about it or not.